Hi guys, uh, October the 10th, 2009. 46 days until I return to Arizona for four days, or yeah, whatever. I am expecting some mail this week. Expecting, don't know if I'm actually gonna get it this week. Um, my aunt's gonna send me something. Uh, Lauren's gonna send me something, apparently. Paige is trying to send me something. My buddy Elston is trying to send me a bunch of CDs that I keep asking for. Um, so I got a lot to look forward to, so that's good. Uh, it's it's still a ghost town here all uh, weekend, so it's boring. There's nothing to do, so I usually end up watching movies or drawing or some shit all the time. Um, I'm going to start off by saying... The last couple days have been amazing. I have not been in this good of a mood for such a long time. Um, I went and took one of my pieces to the music theory professor, and he liked it enough to say, hey, make these few minor tweaks, and we'll get a group together and we'll record it, and we'll put the score into the library. And I was like, all right, sweet. So um, I'm proving some people wrong. I'm proving myself and you know, at a younger age. You know, that's fantastic. Things are actually looking up for Steven right now, and that's good. You want to see Steven in a good mood, because when Steven's in a bad mood, I get all gur face, and you know, you won't like me when I'm angry. I thought I'd just dive in and do another blog while I'm waiting for my uh, raspberry crops to grow in Farmville, because I'm in sort of a bet right now with Paige. Miss me on, you're going down. She's like, oh, you, you know, I'm going to kick your butt. I'm level 24. Well, I'm level 22 already, and I just started playing two weeks ago. So that shows you how much of a life I really have. And I actually had a blast writing one song. Uh, it's, you know, it's a comedy. So this song was called This Sandwich is Terrible. And I you know, I was sitting there laughing while I was writing it. And, it, I, you know, it's like, it's just some stereotypical you know, uh, hyped up song, but it's about sandwiches, you know, so I had a blast writing that, so hopefully that comes together. And these little practice rooms, you know, they're five by five feet, maybe, if that. They have a little piano there, but they're, they're like virtually soundproof. I took my computer, set it outside the door, hit record, walked in there, shut the door, and screamed. And I got back out, you couldn't even hear it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do all my recording in here. It's going to look funny, though, if I go down there and someone's walking by, I'm just going, <laughs> all that shit. I don't know. I kind of decided, you know, I thought long and hard. That's what she said. Maybe there needs to be a change in who I am. Uh, so to speak, um, just, you know, back home, I was that, that emo fuck who was obsessed with Transformers, and, well, you know, <laughs> I can see why people would say that, but they're like, dude, black just makes you look like a dark, you know, person. I respectfully disagree. I don't need to wear bright, fancy colors to say, hey, this is, this is, you know, because that's not who I am. I wear a black shirt simply because all the cool shirts are black. You know, uh, I I can't find any of the bands I listen to. You know, it's hard to like find a metal band on like a pink T-shirt or some shit. You know, they just happen to be black, and um, you know, I just stuck with that. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. It also makes easier for doing laundry. You know, I don't have to split my whites and my darks. It's just everything's dark, so that works for me. Great, 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 great news. I get to keep Starscream. That's my car, if you didn't know that. My brother totaled his car, and he was going to buy it off me, but he ended up getting a truck, so I get to keep my car. So, yes. Okay, I've been eating a lot of Chinese food. Guilty. Um, every time I walk in the Chinese place, well, not every time. It's been like the last two times. They're like, yo, Steve, you know, the usual General Tso's chicken? Oh, uh, sure. I'm trying to eat healthier. 
it's going okay. Um, I definitely don't eat as much as I used to because I usually skip breakfast, or not intentionally. Sometimes I just like sleep through it, and I miss dinner a lot because I sleep through it. But you know, I'll go and I'll be like, hey, you know, I'm gonna have a salad and a diet coke and then like a slice of pizza. I'm like, well, let's go by the dessert table and. You know, that was going okay. I just grabbed a Jello or something. But then October hit, and uh, they put out the pumpkin pie. Game over. I fucking love pumpkin pie, and it's just like, oh no, this is so bad. Steven, you can do it. It's just like, uh. But no, I have to have the pumpkin pie. I think it's doing quite well, I'd say. This is actually only three days of growth. I just need to get it to work up here. Because that's where the beard's supposed to be. Oh, hell yeah. I just got... That's what I'm doing for Halloween. I'm going to do that haircut right there. I just saw the 40-year-old virgin. And there's a little Starscream action figure just chilling. Right there on top of his stove. And that made me think about my life. Like, oh god, if I do this, will I be a 40-year-old virgin? Well, if I'm lucky enough to live to be 40, we'll see. Fuck you. Uh, I actually had to wear a sweater today. I walked outside and was like, kink, kink. <coughs> Swine cough. I had to sit with like five people I didn't even know, so I was just chilling there. And this girl comes out of nowhere. She looks like she's 12, and she's wearing like dork ass glasses, and she actually has little tape over it, you know, and. Uh, people started whispering, and they're just like, it's Unicorn Girl, it's Unicorn Girl. And I was like, what's Unicorn Girl? And uh, she sat down and just, like, took a bite of her food that opened up her backpack, and she pulled out, like, a book. Like, one of those little fantasy books, and she just it had a unicorn on the front. So I was like, oh, okay, that, you know, whatever. She's just a fantasy dork. No, it, it went on. Like, then she can proceeded to pull out a cup that had a unicorn on it, and... Uh, she took her her coke or she's drinking out of the glass that she put it in and actually put it in her unicorn cup and I was like wow that's a little much but then she pulled out a little statue statuette of uh, of a fucking unicorn and it like was sitting the base of it that holds you know makes it stand up was a fucking cloud with a rainbow like arcing out of it and I was like uh uh no no way and she sat there and like arranged it all and she's sitting there just eating while reading her book, and then she actually pet her unicorn. And I almost, like, shat my pants, because I have never seen anybody that dorky. And it's coming from me, you know, the guy who got Wolverine on his arm, and wearing a Transformers shirt. So, it's like, eh, that's a little much. If I was, like, about to pee my pants, it was so goddamn funny. I have to get back to my farm which sounds weird for me to say, but, uh, yeah. I gotta get back to my farm, and so I can beat Paige. Because she keeps thinking that she's gonna beat me. But, nope, she ain't. So, uh, I will, maybe, maybe next week. You all keep it easy, and, keep it easy, that didn't make any sense. Keep it real, take it easy, and have a good, well, it's, the rest of the weekend. Okay, I just sound retarded. Let me start over. You guys all have a good week. I will talk to you later. Bye.